Are we getting a package? Welcome everyone to another video. Today I've got a really good friend of mine and she has a tiny home. I am so impressed and super interested in the tiny home lifestyle and I want to show you guys her amazing home. Super cute, it's really small, but let's go take a look. Hey Tabitha, how are you doing? Good. So you've got a 26 foot 315 square foot tiny home. We just did the math, so I'm gonna say yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we did the math. So you have this amazing tiny home, and it's on, we can see the, the tongue of the trailer right there. Mm -hmm. it, it was built on the trailer right now. We took the wheels off, and it's up on blocks, and we chained it to the foundation because we get really bad northeast winds over here, and my grandpa was afraid that it would literally blow over. Yeah, I would be a little afraid, so, afraid of that I mean, too. It's not on, still built on the trailer, it just can't, it would be a process to get it to move. Yeah, point. you've got the skirting on the bottom, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's still mobile. And it still meets the coding for that as far as like regulations and stuff go. Awesome. Yeah. Even though out here in the county, there's not really a whole lot of regulations, but I know in Bellingham, they're pretty strict about it. But if you wanted to say move into a city limits, it would meet all those? Yeah, yeah, um, because it is plumbed and like it's, Bellingham's weird, they don't allow off-grid dwellings within city limits. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't have an actual toilet and power hookups, I wouldn't be able to move it. But because I actually do have a toilet that hooks up to sewer, mm -hmm. I'm allowed to. Awesome. Yeah. So let's look at your outside decorations. They are super adorable and your, your kind of theme for your tiny home. Uh, I want to be the witch in the woods. I want to be like that cool, eccentric old lady who lives up in the forest and has this cute little cabin and everybody thinks the witch lives there. Oh my god, I love it! My theme, like a lot of the plants that I have are herbs. Mm -hmm. um, like there's valerian, there's white sage, there's fennel, there's um, some lemon, basil, and stuff like that. And I just like that whole like that whole vibe. You yeah! Know, the that well, let's go look at them. Yeah. A lot of the stuff I have too is just stuff I found either around the property or at thrift stores and stuff. Very few things that are in my tiny house were bought brand new. So the plants, I literally found those in the shed and planted the plants. Oh nice. Yeah. I like this chair. That, another thing that was just out in the shed. Grandpa had it. I might paint it someday, but I like how it looks right now. So, so this is going to be really cool though. So the rain chain that's hanging out in front, we're going to put right here. And then we have an antique washing machine that's just yard art. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're going to bring the antique washing machine right here. We'll have the rain chain going down into the washing machine and then it will um, drain out into over here. Eventually, I want it to drain out and put three food grade water barrels right here. Okay. And have water storage. Okay, yeah. You know? For yeah. eventually, if you ever... Eventually, I'd like to be off the grid as much as possible. So I would like to get like a rainwater storage system going on over here. And now we're at your back porch. Mm -hmm. Very Where cute. Where we ate breakfast this morning. Where we had very picturesque breakfast. This very morning. wonderful breakfast. <laughs> I love the bright pops of color. The yeah, purple I front door. Do. Yeah. Gray on the top, gray on the bottom, and I like the stained wood in the middle, which is the signature style of the tiny home company you went through. No, no, he paints them too. Oh, he does? Yeah. He okay. Does. He doesn't really have a signature. He has. So the guy who built this is, is out of Bellingham, Big Freedom Tiny Homes. He has two basic floor models that he does. One's this, which is the 26 inch long one. 20 and foot, 26 foot. 26, yeah, foot. And then he has the 28 and the 30 inch one. So the 28 one is just on a bigger trailer. And the 30 one has a pop out that comes okay. out. So he's got three basic floor plans and you just get a pick out the details, like the countertops, the backsplashes, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out the inside. What is in here? This is the propane. So there's two propane tanks in here. Two big old propane tanks. And what runs off the propane? The stove and the water heater are both propane. Awesome. 
the heat's electric, but honestly, I would change the propane heat in a second. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to get one of those Dickinson Marine ones because then you get like the cute little fire going oh, too. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe someday. Actually, before I do that, I think I would just get a little wood stove. Figure out how to get a little wood stove in here. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have that, but it's tiny, so I don't know how that would work. But this is my hut. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. <laughs> it is such a cute tiny home. I like it. It's my sanctuary. I'm definitely one of those people who needs their own space to like escape to mm -hmm. and be away from the world. So The decorations are so cute and definitely fall within your theme of Little Witch in the Woods. Little Witch in the Woods, that's me. So your countertops, um, what kind of, so you got to pick out the countertops Countertops, back flashes, wood. I gotta pick out the floor. I love my floor. I love the floor that I picked out. I love the look of this wood. It's amazing. Tile, cabinets, paint. And most of the stuff he does, he uses uh, piping like this. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of his other houses, a lot of the brackets and stuff are all piping and they're all that silver color, but I don't like that. So I specifically asked him to do it all black. And then we took all the pieces like this and the bar for the ladder we took them to a guy who powder coated them all no i like the dark hints in here for sure the black um hints everywhere well with the white walls it doesn't make it look so dark and like even mm -hmm. the stains a little darker than a lot of people would go with but as long as the walls are white it brightens it up i don't think i'd ever paint the walls any other color mm -mm. no i like i like the black and the white because that's that's your theme kind of regardless is you like things that are black and white that's true yeah. My friends always laugh because I only wear black most of the time. Like yesterday was probably the most colorful you've ever seen me. Yes. And then you walk into my house and it's like rainbows and, and lots of color and light. And it's just, it's, it's what Tish, my friend, you met yesterday. She calls it my dichotomy. Yes. It's, it's my layers, my onionness. So show me your kitchen. The kitchen's great. I love it. Um, I love the fact that when the power goes out, I can still cook. Last winter we had the power go out in the big house and I was just fine out here. Didn't matter. I mean, it was cold, but other than that, I just put on this water. It's fine. Nice. But yeah, I've got a three burner stove. It's all gas. I've got an oven that I really only use as a toaster at the moment um, because I've got an oven at the big house for making cookies and everything like that, and it's electric. So, is that, um, it looks like a half size? I think so. No, because like a half size is just the two burners. So I'd say it's like, like the fridge, it's almost like a three quarter size or something like that, you know? How big of a bike baking pan can you fit in there? I don't know, I've never tried. Okay. I've really never tried. You wouldn't be able to fit a full cookie sheet in there. No, no, I think you could mm -hmm. do nine I've, I've by nines. I've made bread in there, like um, I made banana bread in there, but that's mm -hmm. the only thing I've ever really baked in here. And your fridge is actually really big. Really big. Plenty of room. Like I said, room. I don't even, it's only me here. So like half the crap in here, honestly, I could probably throw away right now. But you've got the space to definitely hold yep. food. And <clears throat> when I'm working out a lot and I'm about to start doing weight training again, I'll do meal prepping. So it's nice to be able to like have that space to store all the meal prep in there. And yeah. Your sink is freaking huge. It's nice size. Oh, and, and then it's got awesome storage back here too. Behind the staircase. Yeah. For like all the dishes and everything and then on the front side well you've got this very tall one here yeah that's the food pantry food pantry oh no, this is the just like this is one. really deep too like there's lots of storage back there goes the whole width of the staircase uh, and that's the water heater big water heater which i don't like very much i wouldn't recommend that water heater and this one doesn't open yeah it opens just pop it out and it's just oh, storage. Interesting. Okay. Like yeah. Said, there's so much storage. I yeah. don't even use all the storage. That the whole length of the staircase. Not yes. anything wasted because then you get the front side. Yeah. And up here we've got like DVDs and then the rest just have my shoes in them. Shoe storage. Yeah. There's two pairs of shoes in each one. Actually, I don't even think, now that I think about it, I don't even think there's anything down here in this one. Yeah. That one's empty and needs to be swept. So. Like I said, plenty of storage. And the same thing with the couch, like from when my plant was leaking the other day. This is all storage down here. That is amazing. Like that's my yoga mat, my scarves for the winter. I've got the dog bed for when the, when I, when the 
the dog I babysit comes over, I just throw that up on the regular couch. And yeah. It, everything. And then this, is your storage. ottoman is storage. Your trunks, so you got, how many trunks do you have here? You've got a ton of trunks. Well, I've got that one trunk. I've had that one forever. And then I've got three vintage shoe cases. Actually, that top one is actually an old uh, typewriter case or something like that. It used to have something else in it. And then I've got that train case. I have two more train cases up in the other loft. If you've got to store stuff, you might as well store it in cute, cute containers. Right? Yes. I mean, I love the trunk um, storage. Well, and it's, I don't have a lot of stuff. I went from living in a Subaru Outback to living here. Yes. I've had to collect a lot, which mm -hmm. isn't bad. I mean, I've had fun mm -hmm. getting the stuff, but I still like, I am actually at that point besides, so I just ordered a TV with a built-in DVD player and RV TV to put on that wall right there because that's where the hookups are and plus my TV right now is up in my loft and I don't really like watching TV in bed it makes you really lazy like, yeah really really lazy I can spend like all afternoon up there watching TV in bed so and then I want to hang that mirror up and other than that I'm pretty much done buying stuff for the tiny house this is pretty much what it's gonna be like awesome yeah it feels good too like everything else is pretty much outside stuff like more plants and a garden a and garden and yeah awesome but it's like I'm not buying any more pots and pans or we were talking about i might get an instapot mm -hmm. oh yes an instapot but that would just mean i would move the crock pot over to grandpa's house and use the instapot here instead of the crock pot so mm -hmm. it wouldn't even take up any more space than what i already have mm -hmm. yeah you've got the appliances that you're going to use and you also are more of a plastic free environment so you've got definitely if i can get something that's not plastic that's what i get first metal and wooden and ceramic things mm -hmm. which i love because the aesthetic goes with the whole tiny that's, home that's my perfectionist mentality coming through it's like it's gotta fit everything yeah you know and one of the things i really like is like all the little spots I have in my house. If you look around, there's little themes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like if you look up here, this is my reference library. On top of the fridge is the reference library. Very cute. Yeah. Just little places where I keep things. Oh, and don't forget to zoom in on the um, baby wiping hobo plant. Yes. Very cute. It's adorable and I love it. The link is down in the description below. <laughs> yes, please buy one of these. They're awesome and adorable. There's also stickers and shirts. Yes. Yeah, you've no. got the sticker. I've got the sticker on my new day planner. And it's so big. It's nice and big. I liked it. I kind of put and it to beautiful. the side so that I could put another sticker on there. Yes, and I then, love it. My my journal for this year, for some reason, has got like a road tripping theme. It's to got it. the hobo theme. It's got the hobo theme. Which you are still transient. I'm still very much a gypsy soul. There's no getting away from that. I, I like that your bar goes all the way down mm -hmm. and that you have space for you got one cherry but you can I actually put, have another one I just don't keep it in here because I don't have company often enough and it was just getting in the way yeah and you you have your cat grass down there mm -hmm. and I, I got these um carpet tiles at the local uh habitat for humanity store oh nice because there was nothing there and the door is so close to the floor mm -hmm. that I couldn't buy a regular rug yeah it would just move it out of the way every time I opened the door but these are um like commercial carpet tiles for like office buildings and stuff like that mm -hmm. but it's the perfect they were literally like 25 cents a piece oh that's and they amazing are the perfect thing i'll turn on my cool little witchy see it's like all these little things i literally bought this diffuser and it was way overpriced but i bought it because it's, it's that witchy aesthetic i like that it, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't realize it poofed out smoke yep it's my little it's from young living and it's really expensive but it's also really good quality it's amazing I have the perfect amount of pots and pans, the perfect amount of mugs. I have literally two plates. Yes. It's all I need. Yeah. It's all I need. And I had you. You were here last night. You spent the night. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing you were comfortable. The couch pulls out into a full-size bed. It does. It's an amazing... We should have taken pictures of that, but we didn't. Um... The, it comes out to the, <clears throat> the width, and so this whole area is one big, flat platform. Mm -hmm. We were watching movies. It was very fun. Yes. She so put the comfy. TV on the stairs. Yeah, TV went right here, and we just kind of had like a lounge area watching movies. It was good. It's very comfortable, and the potential to do that up here on the loft is just as good. Yeah, you could totally throw a mattress down there. I was thinking, I have some people coming to visit for 4th of July, and they have two young girls, 
I was thinking about putting the bedroll that I had in the back of the subi up there for mm -hmm. the 14-year-old. She yeah. just like sleep up there. Totally. I, I would just move the suitcases so they would form like a little wall mm -hmm. so she wouldn't roll off. And the size of it, I think this up, this side is like 29 feet, square feet. So 86 up there, 39 up there. The main floor is 154 and then the bathroom is 43. Awesome. So let's go look into your bathroom next because the shower, you would think like, oh, what are you going to do without? A bath or a shower? Or how I'm you... not much of a bath person, so it doesn't bother me. So. But the the shower is not, is, is a really good size. It looks small, but I had a smaller shower in my parents' house. Yeah, it's actually bigger than the shower that I was using over at grandpa's house mm -hmm. and a lot more roomy. And this is your closet. So this is actually built as a washer and dryer. Oh. Like if you look in the back here, you can see there's like hookups for a washer and dryer back there. But um, in his other floor models, he had a little like clothing bar up in the loft. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like how open it was and you could see all the clothes and everything. So mm -hmm. we just put a, he just added a shelf in here and put a clothing bar in here because I wasn't going to have a washer and dryer in here. Yeah. But, so this would be where you would put it if you did need it. Yeah, and I totally have the hookups. If I wanted to buy one, I could put one in. Yeah. And I like, though, that, because um, we'll go up into your loft, but you can't stand in your loft. Uh -uh. So having your clothes down here in the bathroom where you get ready. Yeah, and I actually do, like, a weird version of a capsule wardrobe. So I pick a theme or just, like, a color palette every month, and I pull those clothes from upstairs and put them down here. Oh, really? So that I'm not going back and forth. Mm -hmm. upstairs to grab clothes and it, it helps with like decision fatigue and getting ready in the morning and stuff if you have a limited because I went from being a minimalist living out of a plastic tub and only having like three pairs of leggings and like you saw like you yeah. have way more clothing than I did when we were on uh, the road I have a lot of clothing so I don't like having a lot of choices and stuff I'd rather just like have this but I like variety so every couple of weeks I change it up and I switch the clothes from upstairs to downstairs and I love it and uh you've got a very nice big sink and mm -hmm. mirror. More storage than I know what to do with again. Like plenty of storage. Plenty. And and shelves. A lot of space. Like this floor in here, we're both in the bathroom and yep. there's nothing tiny about this bathroom. It doesn't feel like it at all. It doesn't feel confined at all. No, mm -mm. it's very roomy. I don't feel claustrophobic in this bathroom. Not to mention it's got a window, which is so nice. And it's got a big window for a bathroom. Yes. It's a big window for a bathroom. It's very nice. Yeah. There's the window placement is very good in here because the lighting, mm -hmm. even on a cloudy day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, the only light I usually have on the house, like we have these ones on right now for filming, but I leave this one on almost all the time. Mm -hmm. But that's usually the only light on in the house. So. And this backsplash <laughs> is, what kind of stones are these? They're just river rocks that have been polished and you get it in sheets and they're all stuck to the sheet. They're like kind of cut pieces that are all stuck to this like sheet and then you put it up and then you grout over it. I love it. I had to ask her how she did it before. I know it looks like I put each individual one up there, but first mm -hmm. of all, I didn't do it. Shannon, the guy who built the house did it. Yes. And secondly, it was not that complicated. <laughs> no, because it's super thin. Uh, there's not a... You can see up here like how thick the black backsplash is. The, the backsplash is not even that thick. Not thick at all. No, yeah. but I love it. I love yeah. the exposed rock feel. Mm -hmm. I like going back to the kitchen and storage. Like I've got so much storage in the kitchen too. Like there's this down here. That's storage. That's where the crock pot used to go. Um, oh, and you've got drawers. Wow. There's a whole bunch of there's there were people. Um, he said before other people that he built with who just bought a basket and they kept all their cleaning supplies down there because this doesn't get hot at all. Oh, nice. There's no heat that goes down there. I don't know why. It looks like it should get hot, but it doesn't get hot enough to like affect anything that's down there. Awesome. And then like kitchen sink, plenty of space underneath there. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's my trash can. Nice cardboard box. <laughs> and then this too, it's just like, this is like my craft cabinet. I had nothing else to put in there. So it just holds craft supplies. Well, yeah, you have to have a craft cabinet. I do. I kind of do. My solution, I have a cat. My solution for the cat box. Yes. It's closed right now because it's still a work in progress. But this is where the cat box is. I wasn't really storing anything down here and we're cutting a hole in that area right there 
so the cat can get in and out over the wheel well, wheel well. That'll be her little walkway in and out of her cat box. The cat grass, I've never even heard of this because um, people who own cats and a bunch of plants, a lot of house plants are poisonous, poisonous. to the animals mm -hmm. and cats love nibbling on them. Well, especially indoor cats, they need the greens. They need the nutrients that they get from the grass. And that's why a lot of times they will nibble on other plants even if they might be poisonous. So she was starting to eat my plants and I went to the pet store and I just picked up some catnip and some cat grass. I'll replant the catnip and it'll continue to grow, but the cat grass doesn't. So oh, it doesn't. I'll have to buy a new cat grass. I kind of want to get a chia pet though. Oh, Instead yeah? of the cat grass, I want to get like one of those uh, chia pet things that grows grass on them. Because I think it would just be funny if my cat was like eating Bob Ross's hair or something. Oh, that's funny. Well, let's go up into your loft uh, okay. bedroom. I'll follow you okay. up there. You can't stand up, but it's not necessarily a big part of the situation. <laughs> hey, Salem. Oh, tell me about it. I love this little, this it goes back to being a kid and just having your little fort. It is totally like my cozy little fort. I am so comfortable up here. And that's why I want to move the TV though, because I'm way too comfortable up here. I can sit up here all day and watch, binge watch a show and... Oh my gosh, yes. It's like a little, like almost like a blanket fort that you used to have when you were a kid. A blanket fort, for sure. Just yeah. a little clubhouse, tree mm -hmm. house, because yeah. you look out your windows and you're, you're in the trees. Well, in my view out this window at night, I can see the lights from Canada. Lots of light in here and these are all LED lights, so they don't take very much power. But even if they did, I hardly ever have them on. I'm not a big fan of overhead lighting. I like like mood lighting, candles and lamps and stuff like that. And you my have lights so right many here, windows. This is the perfect amount of light to read by at night without it being bright and abrasive. And it's on a timer, so it comes on automatically. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you don't even have to think about it. And your little, you got cubbies for storage. Mm -hmm. I love it. I really love it. It's like a Pinterest board. <laughs> In real life yeah so his original model has like two things of drawers and then there's a clothes rack right there and I didn't like that so instead I had him put the drawers spaced out and build a shelf in the middle a tiny cat for a tiny house, tiny cat for a tiny house. so is there anything that you would maybe want to change little um, bits of the tiny home to improve or just make more accessible I would definitely change the water heater I don't like my water heater um, it's not so bad in the shower because there's two knobs, mm -hmm. you know, to adjust the cold and the hot. But like you, it's like very temperamental. You have to like barely tap it one yes. way or the other to yes. get it to heat or cold. And in the kitchen sink, there's only one knob. So if I turn it to try and cool it down, it just turns the water heater off oh. and it goes straight cold. So I have to be so like precise about it. I mm -hmm. don't like that. Um, it is nice that it is on demand. Yes. So I have as much hot water as I want, mm -hmm. but still. I would definitely change that. People have asked me this question before, and for the most part, I'm pretty just happy with it. I might have, um, like the way the roof pitches, I get why it pitches, but it would be nice if it didn't. Mm -hmm. Tabitha, thank you so much for letting me look at your house and showing it to all of us. It's a beautiful house, and I hope to see you out on the road with your snowbirding adventures in the future. Oh, the dream. Here's a little, Witch's Cottage in the Woods. <laughs> mm -hmm.